Welcome to CES. This is our first day here at Max Tech, and we are going to show you guys the top coolest things that we saw here on day one. Of course, I have to start out with this killer sphere in the background. Las Vegas is known for the sphere, and we have a mini budget version over here. Now, to my eyes, it looks shocking. It is just unreal because we're not used to seeing something like this. Of course, we have a lot of tech here. We have a lot of display technology, but this is what people are gravitating to because it just looks magical. Of course, you can't buy it. So let's go ahead and look at some other tech that you can buy. And next, we have this TS Ultra by Verge. It has 1,200 Newton meters of power or torque. And dude, this thing is amazing. If you look over here in the back, they have this really new design. I have never seen this before. Also, they have this California edition. Orange is, of course, my favorite color. This thing looks amazing. It costs way less. And the coolest thing is this thing has over 200 miles range. For a super bike, that is incredible. Next, we are at the Jackery booth, and I actually bought a Jackery power pack for my first one. And there's tons of portable battery packs here at CES, but the coolest thing I have seen is this thing on this Ford Raptor. This is actually a camper, which has solar panels that slide out maximizing the amount of solar that you can capture. So it's designed for camping, for overlanding. You guys can see the whole uh, tent portion in the back. It makes it really quick to just pop up and you can go to bed without setting something up. So that's cool. They have a bunch of different electronics that you can run. You got a microwave, you got a little stove top. So you have everything you really need. And the cool thing is with solar panels, they are a pain to put up. I have multiples, you have these flimsy stands, but this thing not only is just pop up instantly, it expands, giving you a ton of solar that you can capture compared to just a little bit trifold um, little setup that gives you very little electricity. So this thing is definitely cool. And the next one is the Aper booth, which is actually our partner for today's CES video. Now, I actually own two Aper robot vacuums and they've been amazing. Now, their booth today is amazing. They have a bunch of entertainment, a really cool setup with a pool here. Now, their main launches today is the new Aper Scuba S1 and the S1 Pro. Now the S1 has unparalleled cleaning technology and it uses these caterpillar uh, treads that really helps it to get around and be very mobile. It has wave path navigation technology 2.0, so it's really smart and all you do is press one button and it will do all the cleaning for you without missing anything. There are four cleaning modes for periodic cleaning and they actually have customizable upgrades so you can add in a solar panel that will flow and charge it so you don't have to take it out. Now the next one is the Scuba S1 Pro. This one also has premium cleaning performance with Waveline technology. Now what that means is it will actually go up on the wall of your pool and scoot sideways to clean that line where your water is against the pool. They actually have dual filters in there to make sure the water coming out is pristine with a big basket. And it has infrared enhancing obstacle avoidance with sensors. Now, the cool thing is there's an optional app control with this little floating puck. And not only does that give it Wi-Fi connection so you can customize it through the app, but it gives you info about your water quality if you need to change any chemicals. So definitely go ahead and check it out. Go ahead and check out the links and uh, their pages to get all the updates with some new other technology that they released. And thank you for APER for partnering us here at CES. Now the next one is this LG booth right here. This is a transparent display. And if you look at the quality here, it looks amazing. The contrast level is great. It's super bright. You guys see the whole panels moving right here. We've seen transparent TVs before, but this takes it to another level. LG is also doing the wireless HDMI and wireless signals as well. Uh, so they're really pushing technology. Now you might ask, why do you even need a transparent TV? Well, I think most people do not, but imagine if you're a store owner and you can set one of these up in your, uh, as a window basically, and now you can do a bunch of animations, prices, um, show off new products and they actually still see into your store that is something that's going to grab people's attention and get people to stop take a look and come on in now the next one is this insane scooter contraption now we've covered a lot of e-bikes people have different scooters 
but this thing is actually a three in one. As you guys see, we have this massive tread on the back and then on the front, we have this ski that you can attach and that allows you to go in the snow, whatever bad weather you have and still have a blast. Now, this is it all spec'd out. If you actually follow this way through all of their cool scooters, bikes and everything they have, this is actually the same one with the regular tires on. Now, this thing will actually hit 36 miles an hour. So you can fly like crazy and it's built well, but what blew my mind and the other guy's mind here is that you can buy this with the tread, with the ski and the tires for $2,500. When you look at other options on the market that are really fast off-roading scooters, they run about that price, but you cannot use them in the snow, in the sand, if you keep the front wheel on and put the treads on. So if you want to adventure, check out this Phantom. Next, we're here at the Samsung booth that you guys could see Everything is AI. You can get an AI washing machine, AI fridge, AI TVs, everything's AI, even an AI Martha Stewart if you want to be doing some cooking here. Now, honestly, I think that's a little bit annoying and obnoxious because it's not really AI. There's smart algorithms and different stuff that's happening. But I think the coolest thing here, other than all the amazing TVs, micro LED, are these new laptops. I'll scoot in here. This is Samsung's new book for pro using Intel's new processors that are a lot better. This thing's slim and lightweight, a great Windows PC. Now we've covered the previous ones before. These just got announced and I am very excited to compare them to the MacBook. So if you guys want to see that, make sure that you subscribe. Next up, we're over here at the Ugreen booth and they have a ton of new charging accessories that like you can see right over here. This is their first robot GAN charger. This right here is a 30 watt and it has this cool design with these little feet where it stands up. You can see the uh, outlet pops out like that. This is a 30 watt charger. And the cool thing about it is when it's done charging, it actually has a little happy face. So you know that it's done. And they actually have a 65 watt right here, which is a three port and a bunch of other accessories. We could actually move over here and over here they have a variety of different charges. This is the 45 watt 65 watt midi we actually have max safe ones like this very very slim max safe 15 watt portable charger right here but i want to show you guys this 300 watt fast charging with 48,000 million hours built in with this cool little flashlight so this is perfect for going camping and charging up all of your accessories they also have this awesome little charger where you could actually put it out like a stand bam set it down right on your office desk table and plug in a couple of other things on the bottom like they just have such a massive variety of very high quality fast GAN chargers so definitely check them out all right guys so that was it for day one we saw a bunch of stuff but just showed you guys what we are interested in there is so much more to come so click that circle above to subscribe check out the other video right there and we'll see you in the next video